Welcome to Bench to Bedside, a weekly series of live conversations about recent advances in cancer, from the research bench to treatment at the patient's bedside. And now, your host and the director of the University of Kansas Cancer Center, Dr. Roy Jensen. Welcome to Bench to Bedside. I'm Dr. Roy Jensen, director of the University of Kansas Cancer Center. My guest today is Dr. Tom Curran. Executive Director and Chief Scientific Officer of the Children's Research Institute at Children's Mercy. In 2017, Children's Mercy joined KU Cancer Center as a full-fledged consortium member. The addition of Children's Mercy to our National Cancer Institute consortium further strengthens our collective efforts, particularly in addressing pediatric cancer. Children have been identified by the NCI as an underserved community in cancer research with only 4% of federal funding dedicated solely to cancer research in children. With the physicians and researchers at Children's Mercy focused entirely on pediatrics, our partnership will have an immediate and meaningful impact in this field. Dr. Curran, it's an exciting time for Children's Mercy and the Children's uh, Research Institute. Could you tell us about the recent uh, announcement um, and why we're seeing uh, construction cranes over on Hospital Hill? Sure, Roy. Um, actually, I'm really excited about this. I came to Kansas City to build a research institute dedicated to, to children. And the board of the hospital and the leadership of Children's Mercy committed to building a new building to house that research effort. And with great community support, particularly from the Hall Foundation and the Sunderland Family Foundation, two gifts of equal amount totaled $150 million that we're putting into this new building. The crane is up, the construction is ongoing. Uh, we hope to be complete in about two years. Wow, that's amazing. So how important is the, is the generosity that you've seen from the Kansas City community uh, to the work, uh, both we, what we do here at KU uh, Cancer Center uh, and at Children's Mercy? Well, the community has really made a transformative gift here, and their long-term support of both the university and Children's Mercy Hospital is really unmatched anywhere. The generosity of the, the Kansas City uh, public is really unparalleled. Without that, we wouldn't be able to complete this initiative. As you know, uh, funding for children's cancer and children's disease in general kind of lags behind uh, adult disease. So we're really dependent on the public resonating with our mission, and they do. Mm -hmm. So could you tell us a little bit about the overall mission uh, for the Children's Research uh, Institute? So the mission of the Research Institute is to specifically work on what we call translational research. That's the research that translates a scientific discovery into new medicines, specifically for children. So all of the research conducted within uh, Children's Mercy Research Institute is really dedicated, dedicated to the health and well-being of children. It's a unique focus. We're able to achieve that focus because of the collaborations we have with, with KU and with the other institutes in the local area. So speaking of that collaboration, our two institutions have been working uh, together for many years. What makes the collaboration between Children's Mercy, uh, the KU Cancer Center, and Stowers so unique? Well, to me, it's incredibly unique because we're the three legs of the stool. And by working together, we've got a very solid foundation. So to build a translational enterprise, I really needed that connection to the university and in particular to the cancer center. Cancer will be a pretty significant focus in the new research institute, in addition to other pediatric diseases. The thing that we were missing in Children's Mercy is that, that font of basic research, the, those basic ideas and discoveries that give hope for new directions, new diagnostics, and new treatments. And luckily, the Stowers Institute is able to provide that. So this three-way collaboration that we're involved in, we're doing joint recruitments together, we're planning projects together, we're funding studies together, to me is an example of great synergy. Mm -hmm. If you're just joining us, we're talking about the new Children's Research Institute and how they plan to change the pediatric cancer research landscape. Remember to share this link with people you think might benefit from our discussion. Use the hashtag bench to bedside. So Dr. Kern, what makes pediatric research so important uh, to healthcare and such a unique challenge? Yeah, Roy, I'm happy to address that. You know, children are not little adults. 
they're very different. And just because we have a treatment for an, for an adult disease doesn't mean that that treatment's going to work in children, and it doesn't mean it's going to work in the same way, and it's not necessarily going to have the same side effects. Children are developing. They have cells and tissues in their body that don't exist in adults. So to treat a pediatric cancer, you need to understand the nature of that cancer, where it comes from, in order to pinpoint its Achilles heel. But we've found in, in my own work and work of others that by targeting individual pediatric diseases, sometimes we come up with treatments that actually go the other way and they can be beneficial in adult diseases. In a sense, because children are, are young, because they've not had such a great environmental exposure, we can begin to understand the genetics of their disease at a much higher level than sometimes in adult disease. The challenge is, fortunately, those devastating uh, diseases of children are pretty rare. So the, the size of the population we study is relatively small. That means the, the quality um, and the efficiency of the research has to be really high, and we need to collaborate with as many other institutions as possible. So this relationship between KU and Children's Mercy is really an example of how organizations can work together. And we hope to do that with other organizations moving forward. Mm -hmm. So could you give me um, a, a bit of a, of a feeling for what is the level of discrepancy in funding uh, for pediatric uh, uh, diseases versus uh, adult uh, diseases? Yeah, un unfortunately I can, Roy, in the area of, of cancer. Um, no more than 4% of the NCI budget supports pediatric cancer research. That really doesn't make sense when we consider children are our future adults, they're the whole population. Now some people uh, will, will say, well, the diseases are rare, therefore the impact is, is small, but they haven't experienced a child with cancer and the family uh, of that child. What we find is that the effects of a disease in a child ripple throughout all the family and friends. The effect, it affects the entire life of that child and the entire life of the extended family and all the groups that, that get involved. So rather than putting children last in the line, developing treatments for adult diseases and then turning attention to children, we want to put children at the front of the queue and actually study their di diseases directly. And the support that we get from, from the population really enables us to do that. Mm -hmm. Could you give us a couple of examples of collaborative projects uh, either between Children's Mercy and Stowers or uh, Children's Mercy and, and KU that you're particularly excited about? I'm happy to give you some examples, Roy. Um, when I first came uh, to, to Kansas City, you and I met and we immediately had this idea that, that the cancer center was coextensive, that we didn't really see boundaries. So an opportunity came up. One of your top a faculty, uh, Tomo Iwakuma, was in uh, danger of being a flight risk. He was being recruited away uh, because he was ready for some leadership positions. His lab focused on pediatric solid tumors and uh, he was ready to play that mentorship role that we were looking for. So we have many junior faculty and fellows who just need that guidance from a, from a senior hand, an experienced uh, researcher, which Tomo is. So you and I decided to split his time. So he spends a day a week at Children's Mercy, rest of his time at KU. He's actually a quite unique example of a joint, uh, uh, um, a joint hire between the uh, two of us. Just recently, we discussed recruiting a young scientist, um, uh, John Perry from the Starers Institute, mm -hmm. who'd finished his time at the Starers and was ready to move on and establish his own lab. And mostly that would regularly mean he has to go to another city, uproot his family, lose his collaborative ties. However, his research, which is on cancer stem cell biology, mm -hmm. is a great match for the leukemia studies going on in uh, Children's Mercy. So we figured out how to build a collaborative project uh, John is joining us in uh, July of uh, this year. He will establish an independent lab, but he'll continue to collaborate with his mentor, Ling Heng Lee, at, at the uh, Starers Institute. And so that we really have kind of all three institutes working together towards a common purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I just want to uh, insert here how uh, lucky we are in Kansas City to have uh, Tom come down and, and be, um, uh, and join us in the KU Cancer Center and head up the Children's Research uh, Institute. Uh, Tom is 
is one of the most important scientists uh, in, in, in biomedical research over the last uh, 50 years, and he has an international uh, reputation that's, that's well-deserved, and he has been a great uh, partner and, and collaborator, and uh, we, and I tell you, one of the best days uh, that we've ever had in the KU Cancer Center is the day that we found out that uh, Tom was going to come and join us in, in Kansas City. So, well, uh, Roy, thank you for that, that uh, warm welcome. And I have to say, coming to Kansas City for me was a little bit like coming home. I grew up in farm country in Scotland. Maybe not quite the same as the local yeah. environment, but we had dairy uh, cows in the fields. And uh, really, the, the attitude, the philosophy, the openness, the warmth of the people reminded me very much of home. Well, that's, that's great, Tom. So uh, any final thoughts uh, from you on uh, this partnership and kind of where we're headed? Well, one of the things that I'm very interested in, Roy, is, is helping you uh, to, to reach your goals as well. So what is the way in which Children's Mercy or the Children's Research Institute can best help uh, to synergize with you and help you achieve your goals for the Cancer Center? You know, I think that uh, being a, uh, obviously our goal is to be a comprehensive cancer center. and. Uh, and one of the uh, most critical aspects of that is making sure that we serve really every single person that's within our uh, catchment area. And as you've already pointed out, uh, children are a critical uh, piece of that. And while the incidence rates for childhood cancer are thankfully uh, relatively low, it has a devastating impact on a family and a community. Um, and you don't have to you know, look any farther than the uh, the case of the young child with osteosarcoma that came all the way from England uh, to be treated uh, both at Children's Mercy uh, and at KU uh, Cancer Center, and um, you know that that case just sort of illustrates the issues that uh, that are at stake when when a child uh, develops such a devastating uh, disease. So, uh, where can uh, our viewers find out more about the uh, Children's Research Institute? So the uh, Children's Research Institute is uh, featured on the web pages at Children's Mercy Hospital. We'll be putting out more information over time, particularly as the building starts to take shape. And we'll give you updates. There's actually a, a webcam that will be following the construction process. And I'm looking forward to seeing that building go up floor by floor. Yeah, that's, I've seen the floor plans for that building and it's gonna be an incredible um, facility to uh, foster translational research foster collaboration and it's going to be um, a, a really crown a, a real architectural crown jewel uh, in uh, in Kansas City so uh, congratulations on all that so thank you Dr. Kern and that's it uh, for today join us next Wednesday at 10 a.m. for bench to bedside